All right, okay. I'm Caitlin Shaw. I am 18, turning 19 in a month. I was born in Kirkland Lake, Ontario, and have lived in this area my whole entire life. Um, from the ages one to four, I lived with my both my parents. There was a lot of fighting, arguing, drugs, alcohol involved. And then at the age of seven, that's when the big, the big turn of my life happened. Uh, we had to leave our home. We had to leave our mom, and both my brother and I moved in with my aunt and uncle on a farm, which at the time I thought was the worst thing in the world. I, uh, I didn't understand. I didn't understand what was going on. I was hurt until I was probably, I was probably eight when the first part of my life I attended a, a Christian camp up north. Um, I think that was the first time I remember that I actually accepted Christ into my heart. I asked him to be a part of my life. But after that, I was expecting things to change. I was expecting, you know, God to just make me feel better and happy and forget my past. I didn't understand why I wasn't feeling as happy as everyone was saying that you would be with Christ. And I think from that point on, I kind of turned away from God. And that's when I got in my teen years, when I started grade nine, actually, there was a youth pastor that came to our church, Kristen, and um, I was content with the old youth pastor that was here, but I just didn't like her at all. <laughs> After getting to know her, and you know, she could always, every every week, she was always texting me, like, you should come to youth, you should come to youth. She was always trying to get me out. She was always trying to be there for me. Um, I remember my grade 10 to 11 year, the in-between, I turned to a lot of drugs and alcohol. I just craved it more and more, and I was, it was drug abuse, it was me trying to mask the pain that I was hurting and feeling inside, and trying to cope with my past. At this point, I was just in the in-between, trying to forgive the people that had hurt me, and I was trying to get my life back on track, but I was held down by the drugs and the alcohol that I was consuming. With Kristen's help, she kind of showed me like, it's not working, it's clearly not working because you're not happy, you're not finding satisfaction. And through it all, she still stood beside me and helped me the way through it. So about a year and a half ago, um, my family was away. No one else was in the house but me. I remember I went to the bathroom and I, I stared at the mirror and I was really down and depressed and all I saw was nothing. I didn't see a future, I didn't see a hope. I didn't see life carrying on for me. I became very suicidal and depressed and I just wanted to die right there and then. And I just remember something in the back of my head that kept saying, don't do it. There's gonna be a hope for you, don't do it. I remember crying and crying and screaming to God, why was I ever put through this? And it was in that time that I had to make the decision. Was I gonna kill myself or was I gonna choose to follow God for the rest of my life because I couldn't go on? And I made a promise to God that if I did follow him, that I would give it from my all and I would do everything the best of my ability to actually follow him. And finally, I sat up and I tried to pull myself together and I just remember saying, God, please forgive me. He would help me find hope again. Um, I finally decided to get baptized because, like I said, um, I've only been a Christian for about a year 